Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video by yours truly. I just decided because I saw a question in my Discord asking me about whether this guy should get Acheron's Light Cone or get Aventurine for the fart team. And then it dawned on me right now, Acheron and Aventurine are out as we speak. So maybe I'm a bit late for this video, but I, I figured maybe people are still interested in hearing my thoughts on it. What's the what's the scoop on pulling for Acheron, pulling for Aventurine, pulling for Sunday, pulling for Fugue? Who do you think is the highest value smack and what are your thoughts overall on the discussion? As always, before we go any further, know that it is very nuanced because I don't know what your account looks like. I don't know if you're a massive uh, follow up attack enthusiast or if you're trying to bank on Acheron performing and being your DPS until the ends of time. I don't know if you are even informed about how HSR's power creep method operates. We have 3.0 coming right around the corner. And with a 3.0 update, I assure you, new things, new shiny toys are coming, right? But I don't know what your thought process is, so I can only try and cover as many facets of this conversation as I can. Let's start off with, should you still pull for Acheron this late, going into 3.0 after 2.7, I believe? Correct me if I'm wrong. What about Aventurine? Here's my thoughts. And I I genuinely have, I've, I've like thought about this for a while off stream, trying to like consider all of the pros and cons of pulling on these characters. I think Acheron, if you believe in Acheron, I genuinely think she's going to perform regardless of what comes next. She's just not gonna be T0. What I mean by this guys is if we take in current meta right now, I say this, I've said this plenty of times. Acheron is literally zero cycling and just bulldozing a meta that's not even for her. This meta is for follow up and super break. And yet Acheron still manages to get up there with the fastest clear times. This shows you undeniable evidence that regardless of what the formats are, Acheron still shines, right? And that's good. That means if you pick her up, you know she's still gonna pop off regardless of formats. But if we've learned anything based off of Honkai Star Rail going into 2.0 and now getting ready to go into 3.0. What we've learned is that HSR loves catering to its new shiny toys, right? Acheron was at the cream of the crop meta, boom. Now it's Super Break and now it's Face Shao. And I'll tell you right now, in 3.0, Super Break and Face Shao are popping off. I, I guarantee you another shiny toy is gonna come out that's gonna diminish their value ever so slightly. Now, Super Break, the good thing about it is we do have this exoskeleton mechanic that's gonna be incorporated into a new character's kit. We know this is gonna happen. So Super Break's gonna maintain, maintain some value. And I feel like Super Break as a whole has plot armor. So I'm not exactly sure how long it's gonna continue to have that plot armor. That's up to Hoyoverse to decide. I genuinely don't know. But as for Acheron, should you pull on her with Aventurine, Sunday, and Fugue right around the corner? I'm going to say no. The only reason I'm going to say no is because we know how we know how power creep is in Hawkeye Star Rail. I assure you that Sunday is not just coming to make Jing Yuan better. It's just not. It's, there's no way they're not dropping this guy to make Jing Yuan better. They're dropping him because they're getting ready to drop a plethora of shiny toys that are going to be catered to the kit synergy of Sunday. That is my belief. And so why not wait, save resources, and invest into what you know is going to be the caterance? I, I, that's, that's my personal opinion there. Now, Aventurine is an interesting one because sustains always take a backseat in pull potential and pull value. They always take a backseat because they're never necessities. However, Aventurine's a unique case here. The follow-up trope Provide it that you picked up Face Shao and you have a Robin. You don't really need Topaz. She's just tippity top, right? You can totally use March 7th or a Mose. But if you have Robin and Face Shao, picking up a Venturine, that comp is going to hold you down. I don't give a damn what comes out. You can't convince me that that fart comp is not going to pop off under all circumstances. You can't convince me that. So I think if you're a massive follow-up attack enthusiast, picking up a Venturine, I don't think you will regret it. But I think the one variable that people often at times sleep on is reruns. If you miss out on Acheron and Venturine now, they will come back around. 
and if you skip them you're gonna have triple the resources for sunday and for fugue those are the next two i want to go into we've already talked about sunday what about fugue as things stand right now i can tell you super break might appear strong to you right now but Honkai Star Rail, and this is all just me speaking with confidence, not with facts. Honkai Star Rail is going to change the meta of MOC, of Apocalyptic Shadow, and of Pure Fiction to where Super Break's original power is going to be weak unless you invest in Fugue. Because what's going to happen is Super Break's going to hit like not as hard unless you have the exoskeleton mechanism. And this is going to incentivize you to either invest in that character or play a mid super break uh, feeling because you don't have the exoskeleton incorporated into it. So I think if you are playing super break and you're trying to invest into them, the clear path for you is going to be fugue. What do I think about overall value? Who's the best pick out of Acheron, Fugue, Aventurine and Sunday? I'm going to i'm gonna put my money on the shiny toy and that's gonna be sunday i think because sunday <laughs> first of all not only is he very popular in the story i think they're gonna cater an entire fucking play style around that guy and that's what they're gonna shove think about it like stock investments you know what i mean <laughs> the newest stock investment is absolutely going to be sunday so if i were you i i would personally skip Acheron, skip Aventurine, and I would put my money on Sunday. I put my faith in Sunday, and then I would just await for the new shiny toys to come out. Uh, that is my honest thoughts about those four characters. Uh, now I'm going to look over at chat and see what the hell they're cooking up over here. Okay, given that Sunday is also crit based, I personally recommend skipping Aventurine if you are a free to play low spender and already have Fushuan. Missing it would be much worse than getting Aventurine. See, but here's the thing though, Nigel, you know. At this point, our accounts are well developed, right? Everybody has an account that can clear the, you know, the content in the game. So for that person that is a free to play or a low spender, they might have the entire follow up trope except Aventurine and then getting that Aventurine for them is complete, right? Whereas Nigel, check this out. If they just pick up Sunday, right? But they don't have Jing Yuan and they can't afford to pick up the units that are going to be coming in 3.0 to supplement a, a Sunday's kit. That's also kind of a very expensive, you know, situation for a free to play low spender to be in as well. Sometimes it's just finish building the team that I already have versus investing in this whole new trope. Does that make sense? I guess the best way to put it. Oh, this leads me down a whole new conversation chat. Honkai Star Rail started this shit because they didn't do it in Genshin Impact. Genshin Impact, despite what people say about it, you don't need to invest in multiple units to make one unit really perform like you really don't they, it, don't get me wrong you do to an extent but nowhere near the way you need to do it in hsr and now i see i, I said this before zilla zone zero is following this exact, exact same path where you feel like the need to get multiple characters to make one character perform hsr is the first to do this shit. and what i'm trying to say honkai star rail has done this thing now and they've been doing it where you have to pick up multiple units to make one unit work so that brings me to the free to play low spender argument that the, that the gentleman brought up or, you know, maybe the female brought up in chat. Sometimes it's a better investment to pick up a trope than to pick up one unit that you know is broken, but you don't have all the other pieces to the puzzle. So I think that's another thing that people need to take in consideration. If you already have follow up uh, like pieces, pick up the final piece, you're good to go, right? If you don't own an Acheron, but you have Jiao Show. <laughs> You might want to pick up the Acheron, brother, because that's a hell of a team. Uh, if you have Jing Yuan, you want to pick up Sunday. Like, you know, because I assure you, Sunday going to make Jing Yuan pop the fuck off, bro. Uh, but if you have Super Break, you have Firefly and Rappa. Oh, my God. Not picking up Fugue is just like just the most idiotic thing you could possibly do. Assess your account and say, oh, I already have these pieces. I'm just going to pick this piece up. And then there's the guy like me who has all of it. At this point, I'm investing in pieces that are fun. I don't care about meta. Is this a fun piece that I can put on my account? Because I'm tired of playing with these motherfuckers. I'm tired of face Shao hitting motherfuckers with 2 million damage. I'm, I'm over this. What is the most innovative and fun thing that's going to keep me interested in Honkai Star Rail? 
Rappa was that for me. And she just also happened to be strong as shit as, as well. But like, at this point, guys, stop like sitting here and, and trying to give this one size fits all answer and start saying, bro, what, what works on my account? Because everybody is different. Nobody has the same exact account, guys. Like nobody has the same exact account. I have everyone. I'm looking for fun. You are, you just started the game. You're looking for DPS. You, you've been playing the game, but you ain't got no sustainers and you're getting your ass clapped. You need sustainers. I need fun. This guy needs DPS. You see what I'm, it's too fucking nuanced. And too often do we go down this rabbit hole in HSR where we're trying to shove our wants and needs onto somebody else, not knowing what the fuck their account looks like. Uh, I think that's going to wrap up this entire conversation with regards to 2.6, 2.7 and 3.0 and all that yada, yada, yada. I think I provided a pretty well nuanced take on the matter. Uh, comment down below, guys. Let me know your thoughts. Look at chat as I'm talking about all this stuff. I wasn't able to address every single comment, but I didn't want this video to go on too long. Uh, thanks for watching. Peace, love and happiness. And I'll catch you guys on the flip side.